What's up guys, it's Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and yes, this is another video, another Raspberry Pi related video. Now, this one is pretty exciting though. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, since the Raspberry 3, this is a Raspberry Pi 3, since the Raspberry Pi 3 came out, you guys have been asking for another cluster computer video series. A lot of you guys found me through my original cluster computer series where I take four Raspberry Pi B pluses, uh, put them together in a cluster, and uh, test out the performance, run some uh, programs where I used all the Raspberry Pis. You guys liked that video, I got a lot of views and a lot of subscribers from that series, so I'm starting another series and this is video one of that series. Now I bought four Raspberry Pi B Pluses and I'm gonna do the same thing I did in my other cluster computer video series. I'm gonna show you all the parts, we're gonna put it together, I'm gonna show you all the software, I'm gonna walk you step by step through everything so you can create your own cluster computer using Raspberry Pi 3s. Again, there'll be a four Raspberry Pi cluster using a Raspberry Pi 3s. If you guys are interested, follow along. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you guys can see more of these videos. Now, before I get started and I show you all the parts and we start building the cluster, I wanna talk about a project that I really wanna start, but I need your guys' support to start it. I wanna work on like a 50 to 100 Pi or even more cluster video series. I have a lot of Raspberry Pis, but I wanna get more. Uh, I'm pretty ambitious, I want, I want something big, but I need your guys' support. The way you guys can support me is by liking this video. If you guys like this video, I know you guys will be interested in seeing something like that. And then I will spend the money and I will get all those parts and Raspberry Pis that I need to start that project. But again, like this video, share this video, it'll help me a lot. Without further ado, let's get started with the cluster. All right guys, so these are all the parts you're gonna need to create the cluster computer. Some parts you might not need, but I think it's cool. Now, what you will need is four Raspberry Pi 3s, right? These are the newest Raspberry Pis. I have four of them here. One of them I took out of the box, the other ones are in the box. And you will need a uh, switch. Uh, I recommend this Netgear switch here. I will leave a link to this switch in the description. This is the same switch I used for my previous cluster computer video series where I uh, created a cluster out of Raspberry Pi B pluses. I will leave a link to all the products you see here in the description. So you need this so you can connect all the Raspberry Pis to your uh, network basically. And that's how they speak to each other through the network. And this I believe supports up to, up to seven. It's a port. One of those ports you're going to need to connect to your network so you can connect up to seven Raspberry Pis using this one Netgear switch. Now, uh, what's not needed, but I think it's cool, is having a cluster case. This is the same case I used for my Raspberry Pi B Plus cluster. I'll give you guys an example of how it looks. It looks something like this. We're going to build it today. I'm going to leave a link to this case in the description. You will need some sort of way to power the Raspberry Pis. I recommend getting something like this. This is a USB uh, power uh, adapter. It's from Satachi. Or Sat I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Satachi. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. This is the one I use in my uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Bitcoin mining video series. I use this one. It is a powered USB hub, and it also serves as a way to power up USB devices. I recommend this one. I'll leave the link to this in the description as well. They have, they have a bunch of them you could get. They're pretty cheap. I think I paid 20 bucks for this one. You will need uh, patch cords, at minimum four of them. I have plenty of them. I get, uh, I bought this one for like $2 in uh, Home Depot, one foot uh, patch cord. You guys can find them anywhere. You can make them if you know how to make them. Now what's not needed, but I think it's cool because this is a uh, fan that's powered by this USB hub. You can use this to cool down the cluster. So I will be using this, you guys don't need it. I just found it to be cool and I had it because again, I used this and this in my Bitcoin mining series where I use a Raspberry Pi to mine Bitcoin. All right guys, so you will need four micro SD cards. This is a 16 gigabyte. It doesn't have to be 16 gigabytes. I recommend at least eight. You will need four of them. I think I paid like 15 bucks for this one, so you'll probably find them cheaper. And you will need uh, cables to power your Raspberry Pis. These are, I think, micro USB cables. Again, this is gonna connect to here and the other end to your Raspberry Pi. I like these because uh, they're sleeved. They're pretty tough. And um, I like the color, so that's why I purchased these. I'll leave a link to where you could get some in the description. Now, the only real tool you'll need is a screwdriver. If you're going to uh, go and purchase one of these cases yourself, you will need a screwdriver to put it together. Otherwise, it's pretty simple. All right, guys, so let's just start putting it together. All right, guys, so the first thing I wanna to put together is the case and all the Raspberry Pis in this cluster case here. 
Again, I forgot the name of this case, but I use this for all my other cluster video series. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm gonna fast forward through this process so you guys see me putting it together pretty fast. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do now that we built our case is connect the ethernet cable or patch cord to our switch here. So we're going to grab one, connect it to the back of the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to turn this over, actually it's on the right side, and connect the other end to the, the switch. And we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the Raspberry Pis, patch cord, back of the switch. All right, two more to go. All right, last cable. All right guys, so we got all the patch cords connected to our switch here. All we need to do is grab the power supply for our switch. So this power supply, we connect the other end here and all right, now we're gonna connect the micro USB cables from our Raspberry Pi to this powered USB hub here. And let's just untangle this one here. We're gonna USB part to here. Again, the other end to the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to grab another cable. One end from the Raspberry Pi, the other end to our switch. We're gonna connect the other end of the power to this port here. This is what's gonna power this USB powered hub. Now, it's not needed, but I thought it was pretty cool. A USB fan, it'll connect here and it'll be powered by this USB hub. Let's turn it around this way. Actually, let's turn it this way. Yeah. And I, we could turn this around and it, it's gonna cool the Raspberry Pis. Not needed, but I thought it was cool and I had it laying around, so I figured I add it to, to this project. All right, guys, this is the end of this video, but this is only part one of part four, right? There'll be four parts in the series. This part, I showed you guys how to build everything. We put everything together. And the other, th other three parts, we'll be programming, we'll be benchmarking, running software, all that stuff. We'll be testing the power of the Raspberry Pi 3 cluster out to see what we can do. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm Rustin from RossBoyTech.com and thank you for watching.